All right, today we're running some concentrates from dredging operations. And this has already been cleaned up, but I'm gonna run it through my classification system. So I have three forms of classification here. Um, this is the fines, and then we're going up a little coarser and then extra coarse. Uh, I'm gonna try to remove as many as the larger pieces as I can. We'll run those classified cons to the gold cube, but before I do that, I want to magnetically separate all the magnetics out of the cons before I put it to the gold cube. We're going to start by demagging, or since we're magnetically separating the coarser stuff first. And I'll go through all that and then I'll pan the non magnetics. Alright, I've separated all the magnetics. Ferrous and non ferrous. This is a non ferrous. I'm going to pan this and see if there's anything in it. Alright, we have panned and we got lead shot. Some lead shot in there. I don't know what that little red brown thing is. And then some other little heavy deal. Alright, this is the minus 20 cons. Pull that down a bit. I took out the top tray, I cleaned it out, and I am already seeing little specks of gold in there. So I'll go ahead and pan this to see a little color, and then I'll clean out the other two trays. And this is the minus 20. Look at that. See that piece of gold right there carried right through with the magnet? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. I'll get back to you. All right, I demagged the primary cons from the top tray. This is the pan I was cycling, the mag separator, and then this is just the magnetics out of the pan. So I'll pan that one afterwards, see if I missed anything, but. We'll see how Mr. Hollywood did dredging. All right, here we go. Pan into the pan. Well, this is placer, so I pan a little different. I'm already seeing some color in there. So I talked to Mr. Hollywood about these cons, and, and I may in fact have misspoke. I don't know if he's already run this or not, and judging by the amount of gold in here, I'm assuming that he, in fact, did not run it. Yeah, color. Yeah, look at that. I'm curious to see what's in the plus 
plus 20 now. Use the minus 20 and a decent amount of gold in here. Yeah, let me clean this up and get a line for you. Okay, I finished panning, but I have to update you. Um, when I saw the gold, I decided to call Mr. Hollywood. And I said, Mr. Hollywood, where did this come from? And he said, you know, I really can't remember. He said, I just remember for some reason we set this aside because the amount of magnetics was so much that they just needed to get it out of the dredge. So, <clears throat> that being said, um, when I was magnetically separating the different classifications, I decided not to classify or not to magnetically separate the magnetics out of the minus 20 because I was afraid it was going to pull some of the gold out. And, and, and this is a, usually a true statement for the finer gold. So... I did my little mag switch technique, um, dumping it into this guy, and I had panned this, and this is what I got. A couple little specks, and actually one of those pieces there is actually magnetic. Uh, some of the, One of these pieces of gold has some iron on it, but that's not bad, right? So instead of panning all of this to get the, this out of it, I took the magnetics out then panned it, and it made it way easier. So not a bad showing, or I should say I'm going to pan the rest of the gold cube, because uh, this is just a top tray. Yeah, see, only two pieces. How can I do this with the light here? Yeah, only two pieces of gold made it past. Only two pieces of gold made it past. With the magnetic. I misspoke. There's another one right there. Another one right there. So this is from the bottom two trays. So... Pan this out real quick. Let's see what made it past the top tray. Maybe not a bad amount of gold. And so this is from the second and third tray. So this is what made it past the first tray. means gold definitely got through the cube so it's probably either feeding it too fast because it's a concentrate or the water flow was messed up but either way um, this is a fraction of what is in the first tray so happy with that now there's a lot of lead in here so the only way I'm going to be able to get rid of that lead is to use some wet chemistry so I'll deal with that later next up all the plus 20 this is all the stuff that's going to fight for space in the gold cube. I will magnetically separate this now. Well now that I ran the minus 20, I'm excited to run the plus 20. Maybe we'll get a little picker. We'll see. So I want to run this next. Not much, but a lot better than spooning. I never want to spoon into a sluice or a cube again after using this thing. I'm going to slow it down this time though. See how this does. I'm going to go nice and slow with this one. I got time.
Perfect. All right, let's see what we get. We'll check in after the run. something in there all right the run is done clean out the top tray is there anybody there let me take this out in the sun see if I can't see any color well my efforts have been rewarded mr. Hollywood will be happy there's a couple little pickers here that never even made it out of the first little uh, little run here the top tray so this is where the Cons are introduced. There's something red there with some gold color on it here. Yeah, right there. And a couple little, couple little pieces in there. Let's get this in the pan. All right, let's see what we get here. I'll pan this guy out. So this is the plus thirty. Not bad. A lot of lead. Um, and some of that might be gold coated in mercury, but I won't know until I get it on nitric. Not bad. I can actually pick some of these up. Right, Mr. Hollywood, I get all this cleaned up for you. We have Mr. Hollywood's cons uh, that was able to pan out after using the gold cube these are the coarser pieces and then this one's got all the lead and other junk in there with the gold that trying to separate the two in the pan is extremely difficult so I'm going to cheat and use nitric acid to clean that I'm going to use 50% distilled water 50% nitric acid so I'll go ahead and get that started and I'll catch you up Right, there's a shot of the gold and the beaker with the lead and other junk. I'm trying to separate that, the pan's kind of a waste of time, and I don't want to smelt. I don't want to lose any gold smelting or cupelling or any of that, so I'm just going to remove all the junk with nitric. And I have a system that deals with the spent nitric when I'm done, so to me, this is a lot better use of my time. So I started with 200 milliliters of distilled water and 50 milliliters of 68% nitric acid to get that going. And that's just going to sit at room temperature, no heat. This is another bunch of gold that we have that has a bunch of lead and silver in it from Hard Rock. And then this is all the stuff that came off the top um, that when we were panning we got this white silver lying on the table and we thought was mostly silver ended up being mostly lead but there is silver in there and there's also fine gold so that one's uh, going pretty good uh, I did the same thing 400 and 100 so 400 uh, milliliters of distilled water and 100 of nitric and I will keep adding nitric until these are done and I'm not too concerned about using too much nitric in these because I'll use it to refine some sterling once these reactions are done. The reaction is complete. So now I'm left with a bunch of dissolved lead and whatever else was in here. Junk. So now I should just be left with some black sands, some 
quartz or silica and gold. So I'll get this cleaned off and put this in a pan and pan away the, the junk and then get a weight on this. I snuff up all the gold, put it in this little dish. Dump out the water. All right, I'm gonna go put this in the oven on low heat, let it dry, get a dirty weight before I melt it down and get a final weight. All right, we got a dirty weight here. It says we're at about 1.1. Uh, I don't know why the screen's doing that. Um, 6.88 grams minus the dish, 5.47. It's uh, 1.1 grams of gold. Dirty. So I will melt this in a melt dish, get a final weight, and XRF it. Not yet there. Too much borax in that dish. I'll have to get a cleaner one. Get them cleaned up and on the scale. All right, scale's on. Let's see. All right, 1.005. So there was 0.1 of junk in there that the borax pulled out. Let's get it on the XRF. Okay, this makes me very happy. 84.8% uh, gold. Uh, still some silver left in that gold that the nitric didn't eat. It obviously didn't use heat. A little bit of iron, a little bit of iridium. Now, this most likely, the iridium is not iridium. It may be arsenic. Uh, but notice there is no lead. So, I am happy. The lead has been removed. And that third of a bucket that Mr. Hollywood gave me only had about, you know, probably about 0.8 grams 0.84 grams so not a bad test we'll see you next time dust on the boots ash in the air steel meets the stone with an old miner's prayer Candles burn low in the tunnels of time. Mother low dreams dug deep in the mine. They came in the twenties with shovels and flame, chasing that shimmer, staking.